All right, we're back. It has been a minute, and we're doing some replay analysis for the GOAT, Spectrum. Spectrum sent this in through our Discord, said he's a diamond two and twos, could use some help with positioning, made some errors that led to quick goals, would appreciate it if I could get some pointers on how to pass better for my teammate as well. So that should be pretty easy. We're looking at diamond two, so that's a... Uh, that's kind of a rank where we start, want to start seeing passes more and uh, better positioning, especially if you're trying to push the champ. So let's get into this one, see what's happening. Solid kickoff, we can talk about the kickoff right away, I guess. Solid kickoff, going for like this half cheat, beautiful play. I, li I like the half cheat personally, because you can kind of commit back into, uh, back into defense quicker versus like a full cheat where you're like basically at the kickoff at the same time as you're as it's happening like it's good stuff a uh, good play so far here off the wall um, obviously not the best touch and then our teammate is yeah that was our teammate our teammate here is getting bumped off on the other side of the field so it, it's it's unfortunate really your play wasn't terrible, but there's not much you can do like when your teammates up up field like that. Something you could probably have done is just try to drive into it versus uh, flipping into it off the wall. It might be might give you more power, might have popped it more. It was just like a slightly off touch. Uh, do they try to fake it? No, we don't need to rush this challenge either. So when we're sitting here, just because they hit it up the wall like this. We don't have to fully commit. They're hit. We don't have to fully commit to this to try to stop them for some reason. It's not like it's going to be like a dire situation where if we don't get this challenge, they're going to score, right? I would simply just go get this boost and then kind of back off a little bit and just wait to see what happens. Because this ball is going to bounce out like this. He's probably going to be the next one. The opponent there is probably going to be the next one to it. So we don't need to like full rush into this because... It's gonna, you know, this isn't gonna lead to a goal if we go for it. If we, like, where we have to go for it right away. Stuttering like crazy. Love that. Gotta hit that boost. Yep, now just get back to the net. Beautiful. Yep. So we're just gonna vibe. Let's see what Tom Rat does. Nice shot. Now, again, we don't need to be patient, right? This isn't like a must go for challenge. This guy is definitely just going to get this boost and just bring this around the wall. And it's going to be very hard to tell. He's going to go up. He's going to go down. He's going to pop it out past you, right? In general, we don't like challenging into our opponent's corners in twos. Like, if you are if you have to challenge in their corner, they have the advantage 100%. So, in general, you don't want to come into their corner like this. I'm just thankful you didn't flip or anything, right? Because then you're fully committing. You actually took the ball away from him, which was fine. Everything after that was pretty good. Trying to keep control. Good touch. Just keep control. Yep. Good play out to your teammate too. Really good control in the corner. It can be risky, but it can also have a good, uh, good benefit too. Good kickoff. Yeah. Th this is the path I'd take too. Just kind of outside. Play it out the corner. And I'd probably even go a step further with this. I probably would go around the corner here and I would do exactly as you did take this touch bounce it out around and then I'd probably immediately go down and get this boost and then go back up depending on where my opponents are because you're kind of throwing the ball away anyways tipping it up like this so you know that's going to happen so and they're going to challenge you it's just been nicer to have the boost so you're not you know zero boost like this and leave your teammate on a 2v1 Mm, don't love this. You don't never want to do this through your net. If you're ever just, you know, vibing, there's really no threat. You don't really have a piece in the play. You don't want to flip through your net like this and then be like past it where you're not protecting it. Because you never know what's going to develop from what's happening here. Right? So you flip through. Now you're not protecting the net. I guess now you can challenge, which worked out. But like, what if they were dribbling past you or going to the middle of the field now, right? So there's, I just don't like the idea of flipping through my net like that when I'm second man. Good challenges. Let's get that boost and kind of rotate back. Nice. Watch out for the demo. 
beautiful play. Good pass from our teammate. And that's just perfect ball hawking position here from Spectrum. Vibing at the midfield, slightly on their side of the field. Just waiting to see what happens. Teammate gets a really nice touch. There's no one in net. Only free goal. Just can't miss the open net. So good. We go for air dribble. Yes. Get the double tap now. Beautiful Spectrum. Let's go. Chat, I don't think you realized, like, Spectrum was a gold the first time I watched the replay for him. And now he is a diamond two hitting double taps and stuff like that. The growth has been incredible. That is unfortunate. I talk him up and he almost has a goal scored on him. Um, this is unfortunate, I would have to say. So our teammate's there. He kind of challenged. And then this is just the... It, you get dicey when you get close to their corner like that. And then the bump was just actually really well timed. So it's a good play from them more. But you want to be careful. You don't want to get into that corner. Ooh. Nice. I, I like it trying to be aggressive. But good, you know, state of mind just to get back and rotate out of that. Half flip out of there. Yeah, there's no threat. I would go for this one. Yep. And even just that slight touch, yeah, it's not great. You want to clear it, but you at least put it out of danger a little bit more. And what we need to do is boost to the ground, get down to the ground, and then rotate back post immediately. Right? Bad touch. We can't move upfield at all. You know, we can't circle around away from the net. It needs to be right back to the net, essentially, after a bad touch like that. Unless our teammate gets a really good touch, right? Obviously that changes things, but situationally you want to go back to your net. Nice, yeah, we wanted the boost more. Nothing wrong with reversing into net like this at this rank. Just get back into a good position however you can. Being upfield for our teammate. Let's see, yeah, just a missed touch. I don't think that you're ever going to get as time when it kind of comes out like this. Like, it's going to be really hard to get this touch to where you want it to go. And then this decision making here, we do not want to go for this boost. Our, we don't know what's happening because we can't see the ball. I would try to go for that boost. You're just it's just too committal going to for their corner boost. And then you ended up getting the, the middle boost anyway. <laughs> you ended up getting the middle boost anyway, so it didn't matter. Like you should have just got the middle boost anyways and just went back. So okay, we'll rotate through. Yeah, it's awkward. I would say something that can help alleviate these awkward this awkwardness here is when you go through the net like this, right? Obviously, this is weird. But when you're trying to go out of the net to like transition to challenging or doing something like that, you should just be parallel with the goal and then come out of the net like this versus being out here and then trying to go. You just you can cover, you know this whole portion of the field by being in the net versus if you're starting here right going forward you can cover this whole section you know it's gonna be harder you're gonna be having this angle where you're kind of be hitting the ball almost towards you back into your net if you're too deep out from it so just kind of keep the ball going upfield so now you're in this awkward spot where the ball kind of bounces out to the middle you're trying to you know it's just awkward you do a fine job of kind of adjusting to it not your ball to go for. You find Joe adjusting to it. I think you just gotta recognize you gotta see your teammate here. You just gotta see him here. This is an awkward this feels awkward. I would just try to get behind your teammate. You're just upfield just like a little too much. Just like And if you did get the ball, if you did get a clean touch, like where are you gonna hit it, right? If you got a clean touch, your teammate's not there, you're blasting it off the sidewall and it's going out to the middle anyways. So it's like your touch doesn't help you if you were to go if you were to get a clean one and then oh shit oh yeah that's tough that, that post bounce is wild beautiful pinch yeah I'm okay with the pinch there low boost get that boost Nice, you gotta respect the double tap, unfortunately. Like, especially at this rank, like, you're, he's probably gonna touch it, unless you just, 
straight up like read this off the sidewall better than him and cut him off like you kind of have to respect it so it's annoying so i just stay back like slightly don't get too close where you're underneath him and then he doesn't touch it so it's like whatever but nothing came of it too because you're patient you didn't dive in for no reason and that's crazy that that's not a goal that is crazy defense that this is not a goal holy okay so beautiful clear this is really good pressure and then oh if you just put that anywhere but right on top of him this would have been a goal just shot placement that is so unfortunate wow Nice. Let's kind of go back. I want to watch this one more time. It's just awkward. Yeah, being going to challenge it that quickly is awkward. You'll get better at it, better at it as you kind of see it more. I don't love your positioning here. So you're up three to two. We have to have a little situational awareness. There's 90 seconds left. We do not need to be parallel with our teammate here. We want to always be behind them. So as you keep going up parallel, parallel, parallel with them, the pass isn't going to come. They're not going to come at all. So pause. And it's just not going to happen, right? This pass is not going to come out because Tom Rat's just as good as you. It's just not going to, it's not going to work. Better positioning would be midfield line or even slightly in front of it on their side and you can come challenge this as it kind of comes out or leaks out or does whatever. Just too far upfield. You have a nice touch, but it's just dangerous. Like you're not leaving yourself room to actually defend it if it gets past them, your teammate. Everything's doing good. I would probably avoid these challenges, honestly. I just don't think you're, you're not at there yet where you can hit this comfortably. So you could just back off and let your teammate go just rotate out uh but i mean you gotta keep trying it till you get it but it's just you know it's risky especially when you're up two to up one goal right you don't have to score technically you just have to play solid defense you didn't have to jump here either i don't know what you saw would you see that you needed to jump here yeah the jump the jump threw you off realistically good touch get the save okay yeah i don't know what the jump was i think that was the biggest thing with that yeah just take it boomer this yep alleviate some pressure those are beautiful clear too if we were being a if we were tied by the way if we were tied you know what i would do in this situation bump him bump this guy eliminate this guy this guy is never going to recover in time to go save a shot from your teammate especially when it's coming in the middle like this but we're up one goal with less than a minute to play, rotate back. Always would rather rotate back than uh, stick my nose in and give up a free goal. Mm. Again, it's just, you know, it's just situational, right? You have four boost, 16 boost. You're not gonna realistically, even if you did touch this ball and it's a beautiful pass, if your teammate doesn't 100% score off it, it's going to be a goal for the other team because you're not going to be able to recover quick enough. So low boost situation like that, just rotate back. You just, you just got to rotate back. And then, yeah, that's just unfortunate. They just shoved it down your throat there all the way down the field. You have low boost. You can't get back in time. I would say your pathing was bad too, right? Realistically, if we're trying to chase this ball down to save it, Right, you have really low boost, it's glitching, but your path shouldn't be down the line chasing the ball. The ball is faster than you. You need to try to cut this way and maybe by a miracle get there in time to get it out of there. But yeah, you can't chase it like this because now you have no angle to save it actually. And that's all it took. It was just the low boost situation, not understanding that, and we give up the equalizer at 30 seconds almost a goal off the kickoff beautiful yeah patient you don't have to do nothing yep in these situations i probably wouldn't flip i wouldn't jump off the wall our teammate just went you know they're in our opponent's corner i would just 
tap this ball with my, with my car and I would not jump so I can get off the wall quickly and rotate back and be in a spot to maybe challenge this. Good flick. Yeah, somebody has to go. Good save from your teammate. I think this is your ball to go for though. You gotta be comfortable. You gotta be comfortable with after you see in this flick. Double jumping like almost straight up and going for that. That's your ball. It's awkward. This is an awkward ball to go for, for sure. But I think that's yours to go for. If not, be on the back wall. Possibly be on the back wall and save it from there. Either way. Good extra touch. Looks like we're going into overtime. Yeah, just be a nuisance on the ball. Zero boost this low time. Try to keep it up on your side, but as soon as it gets... Let's try to keep it up on their side, but as soon as it gets on your side... Yeah, we're, we're killing this. Perfect. Really solid kickoff spectrum. Have you been working on that? I like the kickoff. Let's get back in the ball game sooner. We don't need to watch ourselves touch this boost, right? Line it up. Get back into ball cam. Yeah, be patient. He has all the momentum. Good challenge. That that could have won or lost the game right there. Let's see what Toast has. Everyone's just being awkward. And then beautiful drift touch. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay, I see you. Cooking. Damn, that control. And then into that little air dribble tap or a little touch there. That's beautiful. That, that, wow. Spectrum, you have grown so much since I, the first replay I've ever seen for you. Now, the big things I have to say is, you know, obviously, positioning. You challenge things because you think you have to. In reality, you can be a lot more patient. There's a lot of challenges you just don't need to go for. So, that's fine. You'll get there. You'll kind of recognize those. They mainly are challenges where if you were to succeed, nothing good would come of it, really. There's no purpose to the challenge happening and succeeding, right? Um, a lot of those were like when you were coming from the side and the ball's going to the back or whatever, right? Stuff like that. Passing-wise, though, I think what you saw was your, those balls that are coming out of the corner and you just whiffed. Those are ones that are just hard to hit in general. Like, I don't even think I could hit those consistently. But if you ever want to work on passing, always think about peppering the backboard. Or um, peppering it. If you're going to go off the corner, it's a lot safer. It's not going to be as easy. It's going to be really easy for their opponents to save those. So, going off the back wall more, keeping the ball in the middle of the field, trying to pass like that, is going to be good for you. Especially at Diamond. That's probably all you need to do is backboard uh, passes. Or... Slightly off the sidewall and out in the middle quick. Stuff like that. Overall, great replay of Spectrum. Thanks for sending it in. If you want to send you in your replays, guys, you can go to my Discord. And I have a whole ticket system set up now where you can submit tickets and replays like that. And I'll pick ones. I'll be picky. I'm going to pick whatever ones I want. So it's no guarantee. Just make sure you put a good description and I'll get to it if I like it. Okay?